obviously this is still fresh, but how much, if any, thought have you given to what comes next for you? Um, it's not just you. There's a bunch of players, Fred and Mark, that are going to free agency. Um, how much have you been able to think about that? Obviously, there's a lot going on, um, but but what comes next for you? It's too fresh right now. I just finished, you know, tough night. We lost. Um, right now, all I'm thinking is just to go home and spend time with my daughter. That's what, that's one thing in my mind right now. I just want to go home with my daughter and spend, spend time with her. And, um, you know, but all everything all I can say, you know, I'm just thankful, man. You know, to be in this position, to do something I love to do, and uh, basketball be, be being great to me, thank God. You know, so now I'm just thinking to go home. I just want to see my daughter, my beautiful daughter. And just one more for me. Um, you talked all year about you weren't defending a championship. You were trying to get another one. So how does it feel now? Obviously, you came up short, but are you happy with, with the fight and what you guys showed? So many injuries all year and then the bubble and everything. Just overall, how do you uh, look at the season? Man, it's disappointing, you know. And we try, we try hard, man. Listen, they, they have a good team. They have one of the best coach. You know, they 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 uh, they're for a reason, right? You know, and we we got game seven for a reason because both team was good. You know, and uh, we just for sure. You know, things happen, but uh, yeah, we give everything. You know, we, we could do things better for sure. We always get, we can get better. You know, but uh, we give everything. You know, so. You have to give them credit, and every time we try to push, they was there to respond. So that's basketball, man. Win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Safe travels. Thank you. Uh, we will go to Stephen from Sportsnet. Hey, Serge. Uh, obviously, this was not the end that, that you and your teammates wanted to the season, but I just wanted, uh, I just wanted to know, like, like, can, can you reflect on what has been a very bizarre, very long? Season full of, full of like lots of very high highs and very low lows. Yeah, this uh, this year has been really crazy, man. You know, with um, the pandemic and the, you know shut down the season, we come back, we start the bubble. You know, everything. Uh, you know, but hey, it happened for everybody, not only us, not only the Raptors, right? For every team, so it's no excuses. You know, um, this was better tonight. You know, and uh, we try hard. But this was a little better than us. You know, um, that's what happened, you know. Um, you know, like I say, uh, this season was crazy for everybody. For them too, for us, for everybody, you know. But at the end of the day, we still do something we love. We still play something we love. And um, and uh, that's what happened. You know, game seven, anything can happen. And um, like last year, uh, we have some last shot from Kauai, and this year, you know, it's a different way, so they happen. And, um, like, is there, like, a, what, what were some of the positives, I guess, from, from this bubble experience that, that you can take away from it? Um, you know, this, the fact we, we had a chance to compete, you know, we had a chance to compete um, in high level against a good team. And, um, I think you know that's really is just something I can take from you know. Anyway, it's the most important we came back to come play basketball again and after what was going on with the COVID 19, you know, and the NBA find a way to make this a beautiful bubble for us, safe, you know. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, Serge, and th thanks for putting up with our questions all, all year long. Uh, next, we'll go to Chris O'Leary from Raptors.com. Uh, hey, Serge. Um, I guess beyond free agency, um, what, what do you think this offseason is going to look like? Because, I mean, a lot of the start dates are still kind of hazy. And, uh, you know, there's not, not really a concrete idea of, you know, when you guys will be back together and, and on a court. Like, what do you think the next few months are going to look like for you? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Like you say, we don't know if we're going to play next season. or I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really know what is gonna happen. Um, let's see what's gonna happen, you know. But um, just excited to go see my daughter right now. Um, that's all, you know. That's all on my mind. Um, you know. Then we see day by day. And uh, lastly, um, just kind of out of my own curiosity. I mean, you guys were able to kind of live in a COVID-free environment for 
two to three months. Uh, what, what was that like? That's something that you know, not a lot of people in the world are able to experience right now. And that's like I said earlier, you know, no matter what, I'm still thankful, man, for everything you know, to be in these positions, to, to do something I love to do and be safe. You know, I'm thankful for them, man. I'm thankful, you know, even though the, tonight it didn't go the way we want to, you know, but life continue. And uh, yeah, like you say, there's a lot of people out there dying. There's a lot of people out there lo lo losing their jobs, you know, and, uh, you know, life could, life could be worse. You know, so I'm just grateful. That's all right. Thanks a lot and get home safe. Thank you. Uh, last question this evening. We'll go to Vivek Jacob from Complex Canada. Hey, Serge. I was just wondering, obviously, we've talked a lot about basketball, but how much pride do you take in what you guys did as players in the fight for social justice and the strike? Uh, I don't like to say proud. Uh, pride is more, is word of, you know, is more about ego. I want to say I'm just grateful, you know, grateful for everything we did um, as, a, as an organization, you know, and especially me to be part of this story moment is going to stay forever. You know, I'm just grateful. Okay, thank you, Serge. Yeah.